Hello guys, welcome to the channel again. Um, today I invite you invite you guys to watch um, how I swap a um, nozzles on a TDI ALH. So I already got the. Um, first of all, I'm gonna show you here. Hold on. I already got one done, and uh, I was like, eh, let's show them how I do the nozzles. I already got one. You guys can see. But before I do everything on here, what I do, I have this snap on um, blue point clamps. So I clamp the two hoses, the, the feeding and the return line. I clamp both. And then after that, I um, remove the, the lines, the few lines, this ones. Put them in the correct order like that. And then um, I lose the 13 millimeter uh, bolt in the middle. So right now, now is the turn to lose the other, the other knots from the other two lines. So we can lose this other, um, this other two left lines. So we can remove the injectors. So the nozzle shows up, show up today. And I was like, let's just do the nozzle swap real quick. And uh, can't wait to see how it turns out because this will wake the car up a lot. So there you go. You can hook the lines uh, before removing the, the other, the, the hose lines. You hook it and then remove the, the metal lines. Uh, they're tight. So after that, you put one line on one side, one on the other side. So now we have the 13 millimeter uh, bolt bracket to remove. There you go. Now we go ahead and lose the other one. There you go. This will have um, a uh, washer, a copper washer on the on the end. Make sure you don't lose that washer. Uh, you can pull the bracket out. Just put them on the side. Same thing on the other one. Just put them on the side. And now I use a 15. I use a um, 15 millimeter uh, wrench to break it loose. What I do is just put them like this and move it, shake them. And then uh, I pull this one out like that and it comes right up. So this is the injector complete so let's go ahead and pull the other one same way they're not hard but some ones are really hard this one as you can see it's been leaking it's been leaking uh diesel same thing on this other one both and uh same thing on the other one so all four are, are being leaking diesel as you can see um it's wet down there. So uh, I already got one done. So let's go ahead. What and I do like this to do in here is um, before before taking it apart, I like to um, to uh, put them on the on the wire wire brush so I can clean all the rust out. And uh, start with a clean installation. So I'm gonna make a little bit of noise. We're not worried about this one. This one, this, these are the stock ones. Okay guys, um, this is done. 
check it out. Um, I like to clean him real good. I don't know if you can see, but uh, they are not rusted anymore. And since they're gonna be covered in diesel, so they they last like this for a little while. And I always like to clean before I start like like moving, you know, parts in there. So now you guys not need to see every single one. With one is enough. So this is how okay, I clean guys, it. Okay, guys. After this, uh, we already got one done, right? After uh, cleaning it, what I do is I, I put them on the on the vise. Let me see if I can uh, put you guys here, and you can kind of let me see. Watch how I uh, take it apart. So I put them there. Um, try to put them all three, all three at once. So. Uh, might be able to just do. Okay, there you go. So I'm trying to uh, break the the nozzle loose. They're tight. Okay. So I just go like this and leave it like that for a little bit. I have a a rubber. Rubber hammer, hold on. Okay, I'm back. So I got a rubber hammer, hammer, like this, rubber. So you're just gonna hit the tip like this, like this, like that. So you're doing that so you can uh, lower the, the tip down. So that way um, the tip doesn't spin with the nut together. So it stays on the on the injector, you see? Otherwise, this will be connected to this piece because the carbon built into it. So there's one. Okay. There's two. I try not to mix all the tips or the nuts. And here's number three. Okay, this is how I do it. You don't have to do it like me. I'm just, just showing you guys how I do it. So, the other thing, what I do is just uh, open the other one, the the new nozzle. Okay, so get them ready. So the first one, make sure you don't uh, drop the needle. So you're gonna do it like this. And then you open the other one, the new one. The new one, kinda look what way it goes and just try to put them in there. There you go. So you can drop this one in here. So this, you can just close, stay there, the old one. Now you blow a little bit and put the, the copper washer. You can reuse the, 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 the old one. I'm gonna show you what I do to reuse the old one. So try to tight this one so it doesn't stay uh, open while you're here. So ma make it sure it's tight. So this one is done. This is done. And I'm gonna show you in a little bit how I do the, the, um, the washer, the copper washer. Okay, we open the other one. Be careful without not touching the, the inside part. And careful with this one because the needle, the inside needle is trying to get out. Okay, so this one goes like this. Oopsie, come on, come on. Come on, come on, I 
think I did it wrong. Like this. There you go. She didn't want to go in there, but it's there now. So close this one too. And try to um, blow a little bit. Make sure there's not much uh, coal in there. So we swap in this like that. That's how I do it, remember? I used to have a, a machine to calibrate this, but it broke down, so it broke on me, so I didn't use it anymore. I haven't had any problem so far. So now the last one, we're gonna open the, the nozzle, the new one, and make sure the needle doesn't doesn't come out because it's uh, so easy to come out. Look, it's starting to move. Wow, must fall down. Fall down. Okay. See this needle? It's trying to come out. So you just put it back in here into the container. Seal, seal it up. Now, it has three holes three holes so one is opposite so you will see that this one goes like this see we remove this and then hold the tip like this tighten the nut get a 15 and uh, tight now nice and tight so now we already got the, the, the injectors done with the nozzles this is what I do on um, with the what's it called with the washer you can still use the copper washer you see this on how it looks like let me uh let me put them right here this is what I do with the copper washer I got a mess so don't judge so see how it looks like I got a belt sender I just go like this just a little bit look and it will it will clean the the surface like this you see now you got a fresh surface to start to uh, crush do the, do the same thing on all three or, or all four just go like this, just, you don't have to go crazy on it, just a little bit so you can kind of clean the surface and I know there's no leaks. Let me see. There you go. So look, fresh, clean uh, start. So let's get all three um, copper washers. That's, um, those are the, the three washer. Now, there's another tip. After you guys done that, I like to put a little seal. I like to put a little seal. So that way, um, in the future, there's no leak. There's no leak um, coming up. So remember, the little ring, it looks like a ring, it goes towards the injector. The flat surface surface goes to, towards the head. So it goes like this. See, the clean side goes towards the head, not the ring. The ring goes towards the injector. So if you got them like this, you can see the difference. You see it right there, that little ring? goes like this towards the injector the flat face is over uh, towards the head so all three you gotta put them like that there you go so now what is the how i'm gonna seal this is you gotta look for a um for rubber band hopefully this will fit you see rubber gasket ring whatever Put them right here. This might be too tight, but sometimes the head will cut 
the exact um, amount you need to, uh, that you don't need. So I just put grease in here so it, it slides inside a little better. So it's gonna be hard. If not, try to find a smaller uh, ring. So that way it cuts better or like slice better, but this will seal between head and injector and it won't it won't leak and have that flop inside the head. So let's see if this one will work because they are too tight, a little too tight. Just gonna put uh grease so it kind of slides better. Slides better. Okay, there you go. We got all three injectors done, so we're gonna yeah, go ahead and install um, it now. Got the injectors here. Let's see if the ring, the ring seal I prepare for this will work. So you you just basically gonna put them in there, and you got the rubber band because this will need to be cut a little. It works. Um, it works. So um, let me see how it looks like. It might cut a little bit, but I want to take it out because um, my washer came out. So be careful, guys. You got to make sure the washer is, is there. So this is what happened with the seal. Uh, the head will cut the extra that you don't need. So now will be a perfect, perfect. Uh, oh, man. The seal, I'll drop it and it flip. So let me let me try to get uh uh, okay, to so flip, flip it flip over it was easy. I just um, uh, put my pick straight down and flip, and it was easy. Um, guys, if you if you don't want that to happen to you, what you can do is this: pull the the copper washer, put them right here, like this, and just let it fall straight down with the pick, and nothing will happen anymore. See, there you go. So that's how, uh, now remember you still gotta tight this. There you go. We're gonna put the other one. Guys, I'm sorry. My phone uh, died on me. Uh, but yeah, I got the injectors installed, all four. So let's see if the phone stay on because uh, since it's so hot today, it was a little hot the the phone was acting up so let me know well i guess i'm i won't know if it overheats again so what i'm doing right now is just um just installing the brackets to hold the the injectors you just go um buy your torque specs i'm just since I'm, I have done this so many times, I know how much I can, I can go by hand. But you guys go by the torque specs. Uh, I don't have that right now, but I know, I know how uh, to torque this. So I just go five uga dugas. There you go. This one needs a little bit more uga dugas. That's it. So now we're gonna go ahead and install the the glow plug um, harness. Let me see. I need to check on you guys because uh, the phone is acting up with the sun. So oh, it's still recording. So okay, okay. So that's how uh, you connect that, and then you plug the the main injector. Put them where where the um, but as for him, then you put all the the hoses. Forgot which one was which one. I guess they're all the same size. So we're gonna go with this and this. And then, wow, that's too long. This and this. This and this. So now it's only missing the the last one, the plug the plug that I left there over there in the 
in the shed. So we're gonna go ahead and put this lines now. Um, I believe the other ones are easier to install first, the other way. So you install this one first, because they're they are the one on the bottom. Okay, let me check on you guys. Still on? Still recording? So that's how um, I do this uh, fuel lines. So I only tight the ones on the bottom, crank it up for a little bit, and then come and tie the nuts. Because since we got um, the hose kink it, they are not losing the, the pressure or the fuel. There's not much air on the line. So the fuel pump still full of uh, fuel. So up here, you only like hand tie this. Down here, you, you do tie this uh, properly. Five, three Ugadugas, I don't know. This is acting up like so easy, but then so hard. There you go, now we're getting into something, okay. That's tight. That's tight. Now we're gonna do the other one. Okay. That's that one and that one. Okay, remember the top ones you just need hand tight. The bottom ones are the one you need to uh, tie it to uh, the specific uh, torques or whatever. Since I have done it so much, I mean, I know how much I can go. Okay. So this is how I, I, I do it. So after that, the only thing we got left to do is plug the last uh, injector, plug it up and do the the clamps the pliers and uh crank a little bit so the air come out right here and um and that's it hold on let me go get so the, the plug is the done the i just plug. put the plug and what we're gonna have to do is undo the the pliers and we're gonna crank the engine and we're gonna let it build uh uh pressure right here so it kind of drain all the air out and then we're gonna come back and tie the tie it down. It might act, it might acting up a little bit weird because we need to adjust the the injection quantity. Okay, this is the wrong key. Well, it is the same key, but it's for some reason it throws the immobilizer. Okay, here we go. Okay, that's plenty enough crank. So what we're gonna do now, uh, you can see the the lines are were bleeding. So now what we're gonna do is, is uh, seal, tight this injectors down. And that's all we need to do for now. Now what we're gonna do is start it up and see if, uh, and see if it needs, uh, Adjust it with the VCDS. Okay, so you can see a bleed. So we should be good now, and hopefully, doesn't need much to like to like uh, adjust the injection quantity. Okay, start it right up. Yeah, it's got a little bit of uh, 
We're gonna let it warm it up. I'm gonna turn the AC on. And stay tuned, guys. Let's see how this okay, thing Okay, uh, guys. Runs. Um, since um, we have bigger injectors, injectors now, I, uh, I set the injection quantity all the way to the lowest on VCDS. So it's around nine. I still wanted to go like 10 or 11 for the best mileage. But for now, let's see if it works like this. And it's at the lowest. So it's not making the most power right here, but it will save save uh, fuel. And remember, since I, I tuned this car, we already have a two-step on this thing. Check it out. That's pretty cool, huh? Guys, to clean the mess, guys. the mess from the diesel, just add some purple power, and you will see how fast it reacts. Okay, Adam. I always do when it when it, the engine is running, so it's warm. So um, I'm not gonna clean it all right now because it obvious obviously it needs more work. But I'm just gonna do that for now, and I'm just gonna clean it with the with the hose, just straight like this, and that's it. It will clean. It will clean all the diesel. If you just uh, spell, you can see. That's all what you have to do right now. I'm just gonna do this because I uh, I have more work to do on this car, so I'm not planning to clean him up real good this time. So that'll be all. There you go. So now I'm gonna test drive it, see see how uh, how it performs. Uh oh, got trash. You gotta pick the trash. Okay, let's see. The AC still working good. So um, let's see if this thing, uh, I mean, how this thing runs. So let's see. It's peppy. It's peppy. I don't got tax, so I'm just gonna go to the stop sign and come back. Wow, it ran pretty good. <laughs> it's a little bit, I throw a little bit of smoke, but not bad for a diesel. That was pretty good. Not bad. And I got him on the low settings. This thing will rip. So I got a car over there, so I'm just gonna wait. Guys, um, I know I said I only took the stop sign, but I came all the way back here. So hopefully I don't get in trouble. So I'm gonna turn around. Uh, there's another truck. So I'm gonna turn around here and test. Um, Let's drive it. Um, I mean, it feels good already, so I don't need to do some more, but I mean, I can crank the, the power down even more because it has a lot of power right now. And we want it for saving fuel, not for like, not for like power, you know? This 
little thing is mean. Let's check it out, guys. Check it out. It's right here. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is awesome. So I'm gonna come back home, but I mean, this thing builds speed like pretty fast. Like, look, look at the speedometer. Wow, no, no, that's too fast. I think uh, I'm gonna crank the power down a little bit or a lot. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you for watching. This is um, this video was how to install these nozzles. Uh, I'm gonna investigate the nozzle size because uh, I think they were like. 520 or something 520 I think so um, guys thank you for watching um, I do want to say uh, I feel way better now from the COVID I feel way better and uh, guys I'm, I've been thinking about um, about uh, you know open a peel box open a, a P.O. box and and give you guys the P.O. box uh, direction so so you guys send me stuff you know if, if you want me to try something I'm thinking about open a P.O. box so you guys can send it to to me I can try I can test it I can test see how uh, you know whatever you want me to show on the channel like if you want to um, sell something i might be able to try and test it and you know like like give it a give it a thumbs up thumbs down whatever uh if you guys feel like um sending something let me know and i i can probably um rent a p.o box so you for you guys if you guys want to share anything with me and you want to show on the channel let me know let me know um if you want to do it I, I can go ahead and open a p.o box for you guys Okay, guys, thank you for watching. The, this uh, Jetta is not done yet. I mean, still more stuff to do, but today the owner is going to take it home. So today is Tuesday. So Tuesday what? Tuesday 7. So thank you guys for watching. Have a good, a good one.